Welcome back to Tennisshare everyone. I believe many of you guys have already got your new iPhone 15 on hand now just like me. The dynamic island and action button are really a brand new experience for me. Cause I'm an Android phone user before the iPhone 15. I have been using Samsung or other Android brand phones for a long period. So I tried to transfer my Samsung phone data to my iPhone 15 with the move to iOS feature. But during the process, my phone kept showing me the transfer error, transfer interrupted, unable to migrate, transfer stuck on one minute. And there is one time the transfer is completed, but there is no data on my iPhone. This is really frustrating, why is data transfer so hard? So I checked it out on YouTube and Google, and I found out some ways that can cause these issues to happen. If you also have trouble transferring data from Android to iPhone, there are a few things need to check, just follow me. Check 1. Update your new iPhone to iOS 17.0.2 or newer version. The iPhone usually will come out with a new iOS 17.0, but guess what, Apple released a new iOS update right on the day we might get the new iPhone delivery. The update says fix an issue that may prevent transferring data directly from another iPhone during setup. Okay, that means the iPhone 15 comes out with the buggy iOS 17.0 will cause data transfer failure. What a surprise! So, if you haven't activated your iPhone 15, jump back to the language settings page and continue the setup till you see the software update page and update your iPhone to the latest iOS here. If you already activated your iPhone 15, just update it in the setting, and then factory reset it, restart the transfer process. If your iPhone is already updated to iOS 17.0.2 or a later version, check next one. Check 2. Check Wi-Fi and network condition. If your Wi-Fi signal is not strong or the network is not working, the data transfer won't be able to be done. So first make sure your network is working, open a website and watch a video on your PC or Android, check if it is working properly. Second make sure the Wi-Fi signal is strong enough, if not, get close to your router. And most importantly, make sure both phone are connecting to the same Wi-Fi. Check 3. Forgot and reconnect WiFi. Turn off mobile data on Android. Go to settings and tap connection, Wi-Fi. Tap the gear icon and forget your Wi-Fi here. Then reconnect to it again. After reconnecting to the Wi-Fi, go to the data usage page and turn off the mobile data. Now, restart both of the phone and then you can try to use the move to iOS feature again. If the feature still fails after you check the above list, you can follow next method. Alternative tool, transfer Android data to iPhone with Share It app. If the move to iOS is not working, then using a different app might be a choice. D download the Share It app on both of your phones. If your iPhone is not activated, activate it first. Android can find it on the Play Store, and iPhone can find it on the App Store. Once the download is OK, open it. Tap the send option on your Android phone, choose the type of data you want to transfer, such as files, videos, photos, or music. Here we can try photos, videos, and music first. Choose some of them or all of them. Then tap the send button on Android, authorize all the options it needs. And tap the receive button on your iPhone. Android will need some time to detect the iPhone signal, wait a minute, or you can tap the three dot option on Android. Tap connect to iOS. And then use your iPhone to scan the Android QR code. Then the transfer will begin, and you can see those photos, videos, and music transferring to your iPhone one by one. Okay, let's check it out. Photos, 
videos are transferred perfectly to our iPhone. But looks like the music didn't transfer to my iPhone, and the apps also don't. Share it is similar to the Move to iOS app. Both of them rely on a strong Wi-Fi connection and the transfer process will take a very long time if you have a lot of data. If you don't have good Wi-Fi or you are in a hurry, I recommend you guys try iTransGo. Alternative tool, easy transfer Android data to iPhone with iTransGo. Using iTransGo to transfer Android data to your iPhone doesn't need to erase your iPhone data. This is an expert data transfer tool. It can transfer Android videos, photos, messages, music, and other data to your iPhone with just three steps. I already put the link in the description. Once installed, connect both your phone to your PC or Mac and open iTransGo. That's bullshit. Click the start option. Click again. Here you need to set the Connect app as the default SMS app on your Android, you can change it back later. Allow all the files authorization while those windows pop up, so that we can transfer them to your iPhone. Now you can choose what kind of data you want to transfer. Then click Start Scan. When the scan is over, click Transfer Data option iTransGo will start to transfer the data. Okay, the transfer is done, let's check them out. Photos Videos Music It's transferred to my iPhone perfectly fine. It's very convenient and doesn't need any complex operation. Transfer your data with three steps. Go try it. Okay, now we can enjoy the action button, it's pretty fun to use. I think I will use it to combine some interesting shortcuts. What about you guys? How you planning to use the action button? Leave a comment and tell us. If you think this video is helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.